Sorry, I just talked over <laughs> both of y'all. That was not very cash it's money. It's all good. Uh, Square Enix conference. I'm going to get some of the smaller stuff out of the mm -hmm. way, and then we'll go to the stuff. It's me and Sarah's course, time. Say. Um, something like that. Uh, Legend of Mana coming to PS4, Switch, Steam on June 24th. Kind of, kind of weird that it's excluding Xbox, but you know, uh, JRPGs typically sell better on uh, Sony platforms. Uh, you, you forgot to mention that the Xbox is getting a JRPG. Don't remember the name of it. But oh yeah, me, it's by the Euclidean something. The Suikoden creator. Yeah, nice. those um those also look really really good. I'm Sarah. I was gonna ask you, is that the fucking those those the games that I was making fun of the developers for being cowards with their female monster designs? I like one is a big tiger know. man, and then one is like a tiny little tiger cat girl, and it's like bitch, you could have made a buff. Remember, I think it's the same games, but either way, don't be cowards, uh, visual designers. Continue, Jose. Uh, there's an Avengers content roadmap. There's a free Wakanda, uh, sorry, Wakanda expansion and Black Panther coming out this summer. Um, that it game is played. Oh, that it's kind of that game's kind of dead to me. I never I'm played happy. it. Oh, I finished it. You're braver than I. Man, that, granted, I played it on game. PC. That that was a bad way to play it. That's a game. It's a game that came out. It's a game that I played. It's a game. This is true. It Such feels like it was canceled, but it still got released. That's how I feel about that game. Yeah, like, we shouldn't have been able to play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. There's uh, Babylon's Fall. It's uh, developed by Platinum. It's a live service yeah. co-op action game, which is kind of out of left field for Platinum, since they typically yeah. make character action games, single player yeah. and whatnot. And unfortunately, um, it seems like the combat, a lot of, a lot of the combat seems to have got... Seems to be less interesting now too. It's, it's I, I was gonna ask y'all like because I've heard people talking about the fact that like the original trailer for it, like the reveal trailer, and this, it almost feels like they completely shifted sensibilities at some point because yeah. it doesn't match mm -hmm. up. Because it wasn't a live service game before, and now it is. Yeah, I do like the arts, the art direction though. Yeah, 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 no, yeah it's I, neat. I like it too. Mm -hmm. And a co-op action game does not sound bad. It's just platinum makes pretty games. Yeah, they do. Um, Life is Strange Remastered coming out September 30th, 2021. Oh, yes. Um, they showed cool. off they showed off some gameplay of True Colors, kind of like showing like in depth how yeah. her uh her empath powers will work, how yeah. you're interacting, so, some story details of uh I won't say who, but I, I don't care. Is, is trailers spoilers? No, yeah. trailers aren't spoilers. Her, her brother's dead, trying to like unravel why it happened. Some of them, some kind of intrigue, mystery, and whatnot. Yeah, but it's, 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 gonna, it's gonna be cool that there's like a specific emphasis like on going into people's psyches um, like, like super delving into it they also specifically said find out the supernatural mystery haunting the town so this is gonna have like supernatural elements to it super I'm warming up more to that game I know I was a little critical when I first played it and um, I think I even said on Twitter how like I think I was being too hard in it but like I, I am really interested in this whole like empathy power thing. I yeah. I was already. I'm even more excited the fact that they've shown you more now how um how that works. Sarah, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, I just want to say really, really quick, because I've seen a lot of people comment on the trailer. That's like the hideous superpower. As someone who is a empath, like a very intense empath, people calling that shitty and not realizing like what empaths deal with on a daily basis. Basis, I really want to throw hands. Sorry, you can't rewind time again because they wanted to make a different game with a different I mean, approach to a power. Hands. To be like, fair, do you do you solve a town's hidden mysteries in a supernatural fashion? I want to, but I just get really pissed when people around me are angry. And trust me, I ain't a fan. I mean, of that. Sarah. Yeah. I mean, Sarah could probably solve a supernatural mystery if she had given, some team. If given enough time and if a murder is involved, I most likely could. But it's it's just it makes me really pissed that people see see something that people like there are people who, who are empaths and deal with it on like a daily basis and instantly call it a shitty superpower. Like that just like seeing multiple people say that made me very angry. Made me really yeah, Jose, it's like um what you and I were talking about. So like Life is Strange too, I haven't finished it yet, but like those first thirty minutes have like affected me more than any game I've ever played. Oh, because man. I was able because I saw like, oh sweet, they're showing what it's like to be the kid of an immigrant, like in this pure and like wonderful like mm -hmm. way. Um and how fast that can be ripped from you. Um and Jose and I were talking about like, you know, Oh yeah, people probably bitch and moan that it's like, why are the races so cartoony? It's like, yeah, that's what it's like being a Latino in uh yeah. in, in the United States. Like, so I, I get it. Like, yeah, it, 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 people don't know. <laughs> um, I, I'm very excited for this game. I really am. I warmed up. Have you guys played um, uh, Twin Mirror? 
No, no they're like, was it? Was not, it good? Not um, I, re- I reviewed it highly. I liked it. I think it's because what it, it's like one game. It's not multiple episodes. Um, what what I liked about it is that very few games will, you know, look like a movie in that like okay, they're gonna sh- they're, the the cinematography is like from the shot from different angles you know the dialogue is mm-hmm. very good the, the the use of incidental music is like perfect um it, it, it's a solid game that that i i i really dug and i think i liked i think if you go on metacritic for the ps4 version i'm like the highest score <laughs> like i oh, put shit. that i got the highest score there um it's a solid game and i'm excited i still have to play tell me why which is on game pass also but i'll Please figure out me, i i never why got a... is one of my favorite games of last year it is it's beautiful. Play. I think the way that they released it was one of the smartest moves ever, which was just weekly instead of just like waiting like months. They were like, "Oh, here is episode one. Episode two comes out next week on Friday. Episode three comes out the other week on yeah. Friday." Like it literally was the best. And I will say what that studio does, because like kind of what Team uh, Ninja Theory did with Hellblade, seeing a game that handles something that doesn't normally get handled in games such as Empath. Yeah empathy is and putting it in a way where they're still teaching people about it but also showing like showing it in this like super natural light being able to but like like basically taking what empathy and empaths actually are but making it in like a weird supernatural sort of realistic way to me is incredibly cool and i think it's going to teach people like kind of what the hellblade did you see what it feels like how how some of your friends are like oh like yeah you see how how that person's angry and how she felt angry because of that like that's how i feel when people are sad or people are depressed around me i'm gonna feel that like i just think what what they do with the entire life is strange franchise is incredibly and i think they've learned as the games have gone on including tell me tell me why and I don't know if Twin Mirror covers anything. Twin Mirror is more, yeah, it's nothing. It, what, what, okay. what, what, it's not as like, it, what is it? There's no emotional concept okay. to it. There's no, it, what, what, it, what it mostly deals, it's a very straightforward detective uh, story, which I love. And okay. I'm sucker for anything about journalists too. So it's like, all right. Um, uh, but quick, it, sorry, go ahead. Uh, you, you, can, you can finish, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like it, it's it's different. It's not it, it's not it's 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 not about like young people. It's not about like these emotional connections that young people have. Nor is it about dealing with like some sort of adversity. Adverse yeah. adversity. It's very straightforward in its in its approach. Go ahead, Isaac. Um, I'll do I'll do one aside, and then we have a question. Then we'll move on. Um, more white people need to play uh Life is Strange too, specifically yes. play yes. it to fucking entirety and. Don't get mad at it. Just fucking absorb it and see what the fuck it's like. I need You're it. mad at it. I've been wanting to play it. I've been wanting to play it, and I just, I just, I just haven't. I want my Xbox set up. I'll, when I, when I, because when we, when we figure that out, I'll, I'll, that's one of the ones I, I hardcore will play. I, I want. I've been wanting to play it for a while. I can't, I've never really cried good. at a game more than I did, and it nothing bad. It, happened. it fucking got part. to me. Oh my god. Um, we we. We have a question for you in chat, Mesa. I've been meaning to get to you. Um, Janubi uh, asks, is Mesa playing a flute in his silly image? I mean, it could be taking a fat ass rip of a vape pen, but I'd like to think he's practicing his snake charming flute. Charming that buttercup. Get the cheese buttercup. Oh, yes. Uh, what what are you doing recorder. in that picture? It's, it's just, just a recorder. recorder. Just having fun with the recorder. I got, um, it was me practicing my, <laughs> with my, um, with my lights, and I was like, you know, let's, let me do something. Let me do something while I'm practicing these lights. And I played, <laughs> I play, I think I played, I think I played, um, Sadness and Sorrow from Naruto. I'm so glad. Can, can you, can I you recite it? Can you whistle it? I thought that you were going to say hot I'm cross not going to re- whistle it. That is bad content. That's it, bad content, Jose. Black As a content dude. creator, I expected better <laughs> from you. Uh,. Okay, let's go over the stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's made by the Deus Ex team, which previously, I believe their last game they did was uh, the last Tomb Raider entry, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh, okay. um, it's a third-person action adventure. It looks like you only play Star-Lord. Uh, everyone else in the crew is just kind of like in your party there and um, NPCs and whatnot. Um, I, I, as, as a side note, it doesn't really have much... I guess it, it does have a lot to do with this game. It's amazing how James Gunn's uh, take on the Guardians of the Galaxy, like that is the the entirety of the public's perception 
of Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, no <laughs> no one gave a flying fuck about the like. Obviously, mm-hmm. comics and whatnot, but like, if we're talking like cultural osmosis and whatnot, nobody gave a fuck about Guardians because they didn't know who they were, and like, this is just like the defining take on them mm-hmm. at this point. Which is which yeah. is really interesting because it seems that they have the writer of one of the best Guardians like comic lines helping them with the story of this game like i think his name is dan dan abnett or dan abbott they have him helping with the story and he basically rebooted the guardians in the mid 2000s like he was like he's the he's like one of the main comic writers that brought the guardians back out of obscurity like that was that was him like gun based a lot of the stuff off of dan abbott's guardians run Mm -hmm. so the fact that they have him helping with the story is incredibly interesting too like they're they're going deep (laughs) one other interesting thing for me and like this is a this is a problem that um square nexus avengers suffered from they can't use the actors faces from uh from the the mcu equivalents so you're always going to have that in the back of your head just like that just does not look right it looks off it looks like a freaking store brand uh guardians of the galaxy I think this version of him looks really fucking great. I didn't have that problem with this. Like, I had that yeah, problem with Marvel's Avengers either. because it seemed like they were trying really hard to be like the 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 flea market like bootleg versions of the of the main Avengers. With this, it feels like they went instead went like, okay, so we're just going to do the general look of like how these <laughs> you expect these characters to look. I don't know if they interpreted them based on versions of the comic. I don't know if they just went crazy with it, but it, it doesn't. I'm not thinking in the back of my head. Oh, that's just not Chris Pratt. I literally go like, this looks like a different take, and I'm enjoying mm-hmm. it. Surprised at how much this looks like a game I want to play, despite how critical I have been over like Marvel's Avengers and a lot of Marvel content these days in general. I don't want it to be a Destiny clone. Please, fucking no. I don't think it's going to be. No, the the fact they stressed that. I'm sorry, Sarah, do you mind if I say it? Yeah, go ahead, please. They stressed that, like, this is a third person action single player experience. They, like, went almost went out of their way to Mm -hmm. say this is not a multiplayer co op game. This is a single. You play. They must have said five times you play as Star Lord. You only play as Star Lord. Mm -hmm. I like. While it would be nice to play as the other characters, I, it's interesting to see that commitment of like we're going hard into single player and we're making this like a, it, it, a fully fleshed out single player experience first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Very Plus, happy. For I that. like that. I like that you have full control over like Star Lord reacting to certain things. Like I yeah. love that. I I saw this. And my excitement wasn't really evident at first because I was pissed that Square just didn't give me anything Kingdom Hearts, but well, well, whatever, I guess. But like it it's the Guardians game that I never knew I wanted. Yeah. Everything in a Guardians of the Galaxy game that I never knew I wanted, but now I'm getting it. Like it, the choices it, it, are so simple too, but it's like Yeah, do you throw rocket or do you not throw rocket? But it works. <laughs> Like, I love it. It's It looks so much fun. And it also, like, because Guardians of the Galaxy was the first Marvel comic that I really got into even before the movie came came out. And the fact they have a writer like Dan Abbott who dug into Marvel's, like, obscure character line helping them with this. And, like, Ido's being, like, hinting at the fact that they dug deep, too. I am so excited. So excited to see, like, who could show up in this. If, like, Marvel gave or- them, like, a... Huh? Howard the Duck. That's all I want. Oh I want my Howard god! The Duck cameo in a, in I mean, Marvel. he could. I almost. I when when the planet started moving in the demo, I was just like, "Are they gonna fucking just have ego be there for no fucking reason?" Like it's just like I'm. It's it looks so good, and I can't get over just how better than the Avengers this looks. Like it, almost like it I feels like the game that game Avengers, was supposed to be before they changed like, it into a looter shooter. And like tugged at their collar a bit and was like, "Oh, we can't do that." Like. <laughs> And they're yeah. like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, and it looks like they didn't, they didn't do that. And I've seen online that a bunch of people are really sad that they're not doing a De- uh, Deus Ex like Human Revolution three. But I almost feel like that could happen once Guardians is done. Like they're like, all right, Guardians is done. We're gonna do that third day, De- that third day De- Deus Ex game that we forgot about. <laughs> I th- I think to be fair to to that community, they've. What, when they got shoved onto making the third um, Tomb Raider game, like I, I think a lot of people just had their expectations that they were going to immediately go back to Deus Ex. And as much as I love those um, 
the the two latest uh, Deus Ex games are like beautifully fucking designed on every conceivable front. Um, they don't. I want to say they didn't sell well, but then again, no, Square Enix they, Square Enix went through a very big period of just like if you don't sell fucking fifteen million units in the first week, you're a fucking failure. So I I don't know. Yeah, Square, it's like Tomb Raider. Like it's like Tomb Raider never does well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they that was the big downfall. Fucked. Was yeah, that a lot of people loved the, the Deus Ex? Like I loved those games, but they didn't sell because no one, sadly, a lot of people didn't play the original days. I didn't ask didn't for this. But I mean it looks really cool. And also it's just using the licensed music in like the combat, which is which is so fun. All right, like, we gotta I'm, we gotta um, move on. Uh what, let's talk about what is, this? is it? Str- Stranger is it? Paradise: A Final Fantasy Origin. Yeah, is it Origin. Blade and Mai's time? Uh, so it's made by uh, the Ninja Gaiden team, uh, Team Ninja. It's out twenty twenty two. PS five demo out today. Um, definitely more in the vein of like an action brawler. I put it's, asterisk it's, it, on that. <laughs> asterisk. <laughs> Apparently, the the new downloads having similar problems. Oops. But, oh, um, it is? But, oh yeah. My. Yeah. Looks looks more in the line of like an action. Uh, brawler or whatnot it's it's not as chaotic or it doesn't look like necessarily as in-depth it's like a devil may cry maybe more so is like uh early god of war those, those uh, first it's three looking first four almost like neo to me like how neo looked like i don't know if i would say that it, it, de- it definitely has like those old school like god of war finishers not not like a glory kill from like doom but like you you downed an enemy let's go up to them and maybe not necessarily do a quick Stomp time event but it's 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 like god of war finisher Look, I already made the joke on Twitter where I called it Dirge of Devil May Cry, so oh I'm going to look like God. a fucking idiot if that game doesn't actually play like Devil May Cry. And then it was revealed that that the director of Dirge of Cerberus is doing it. It's oh, like, no. I knew that before go. I made the joke. Oh, no. Let's go. I'm not that, I'm not that psychic. The combat actually looks... You are pretty. Ma- maybe it's just the character they are like predominantly showing, you know, like big, heavy, two-handed swords or whatnot, but that combat looks really freaking slow. I will let you know when we're allowed to play it. And it also, looks- N- Nomura acts looking characters. Like, <laughs> the dude's still kicking at like 55. He's, I, like, he's like, you asked, I created. <laughs> that dude does not have many, neither of those dudes have have many uh, belts and zippers. I think, I think, I think the pink haired dude had a bunch of belts. If there, I remember there, correctly. I'd have to look. It's because, like, I brought this up earlier because, again, me with the worst opinions and ex. Distance. I'm a I'm fan when Final that. Fantasy uses like non Final Fantasy looking characters. Like I just I love to see the contrast between like the high fantasy and like the look of the Final Fantasy 15 slash the Kings Kings Glade char- characters. Mm. Like I just I I like that a lot. And it seems like the Mora's still Jeans. pushing that train. And yeah. I'm like fuck yeah, let's go, man in a T-shirt who looks like Cole from Infamous. Let's go, and dude with random pink hair who's honestly the comic relief. Like, we know he's the comic relief because his hair is pink. But everyone else looks like so, normal. It's, it's such a weird take, like, like the origin part of it, where it it's... It, is it like they're interfering with the plot of Final Fantasy 1? They have Garland in there? Yeah. It's, okay, so let me let me step in because I've yeah, played too like, many of these fucking games. Um, Final Fantasy 1 has no story aside from you are chosen warriors, go defeat evil, up until like literally the last of bit of the game where it's like, oh, there's weird time travel shit in order to actually kill the great evil. You have to travel back in time and kill chaos. And Garland, like, but also Garland becomes chaos or is a reincarnation of chaos. It's weird, but that's where all that shit comes from in this trailer for this. So my guess is the fact that he keeps saying that it's like a prequel to Final Fantasy 1 or something like that, is that you're playing as, I guess, the hero... Because Sarah, in private, brought up to me, like, I think they're going to beat this, and then you're going to find out that, like, your main character becomes uh, chaos or something in, like, the Final Fantasy 1 game. Actual like receipts for that because the main art that they're using for it shows the main dude, which his name is Jack, by the way. God, I love him. Of course Nimura. it is. I don't know what Namor is doing. It's oh. great. Um, it shows him and like half of his face is covered in like darkness, and one of his eyes is like glowing like gold. We'll so see. I have and a weird feeling that it's going to end with like, nope, you're chaos. Well, this is the thing I'm wondering is that if they're going to do some weird thing where it's not that he is he becomes chaos, it's that. 
through the events of him trying to kill chaos, he unwittingly starts the sequence of events that has chaos existing in the past. And then, you know, the, the warriors of light in final fantasy one story, then have to go deal with the problem that they created. That's what I think is going to happen. Quick segue, uh, like semi unrelated, uh, final fantasy seven integrated intermissions DLC with Yuffie. I, I totally forgot to point this out. I was right again, Sarah, no Vincent. <laughs> Please don't remind me. I still got my I... people. Nomura still hasn't forgotten about that. Bless him. Also, I didn't realize, I thought he was just the character designer in this game. He's the creative producer. This dude has weight in this title. Like, Makes sense. I was like, right. Like, like, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm looking for some crazy shit to happen. Because if Nomura has any kind of weight, you know some crazy shit's gonna happen. That's why I'm like, Jack's gonna end up being cast. Like, I'm just gonna call it now the game... At, and if the game's gonna gonna happen, some weird time time travel shit's gonna go down. Jack's gonna somehow become like chaos. Like it's, it's gonna be a tie into Final Fantasy VII remake, and Jack is like the ver- is actually is, is like chaos, and he's gonna infect Vincent in and the it's remake. Somehow turned into Kingdom Hearts. We just know this. Oh, well, God. Final Fantasy VII oh, remake is already Kingdom Hearts. The moment they said we're doing integrate, and that's the upgrade, and it's sixty dollars or seventy dollars or whatever, we knew that fucking ship had sailed. It is the new Kingdom Hearts. Run while but you like, can, also, CJ. I know, uh, um, oh, uh, blinking. Hold on. Use a signal. Um, use a signal. No, hold on. Uh, you all got 51 um, Clubhouse games downloaded? Let her, let her think. Never, let her think. What, hold on. Wait. Um, I was right. I'm sorry, let her I'm think. blinking. Someone, someone from SCGC, I feel we're really bad. Finn! Finn pointed out how beautiful the like title art of that game is. Final Fantasy, no matter how bad the Final Fantasy game is, the title, like, like, like the art behind the title is always gonna be fucking gorgeous. When you get Yoshitaka Amano to do the title art for every single game of your series, yeah, it's always gonna look good, even if like, the game is shit. Badass. It makes the weird as fuck title seem awesome. The weird like strangers in paradise. That's the power of Amano. It's why he's been it's with the company for so fucking like cool. 30 years or 40 and years or like whatever. again, I'm the queen of the worst opinions i'm actually really excited for this like i'm not into the soul style this is what i think it looks fun it looks really cool i'm just petty because i think it looks dumb that they have these like because someone's pointed out it might even be an isekai because there's art of the characters in like modern day clothing so like i'm interested to see how wild it gets i just think that the design of the main character is bland not because of that oh yeah it's just like i I'm just I I love the use of like modern day outfits in like a Final Fantasy setting, like the whole like high fantasy around it, where you just have a dude in like a t-shirt wielding like yeah. a giant ass sword. Like I'm such a sucker for that shit. And it's like the fact that Namora's still on that train. I'm like fuck, man. Like I'm just I'm I'm down for this. It looks very cool. I like when Final Fantasy's weird, and this looks like Final Fantasy's gonna get weird. Oh, yeah. 